a dinner for the general staff. It started with 21 guys in the uh, That was a special number, huh? Oh, yes. Well, there was two generals, mm -hmm. head of Far East Air Forces and so and so and so on. Uh, Carl Midens, who did all the stuff for life. Bill Dunn, who was a CBS. Who sort of like a 21-gun salute. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Hugh Walker, of course, joined me, too, because he was a big fan. He, mm -hmm. he was a Marine. Even though the Marines were very critical of MacArthur, mm -hmm. they were wrong. I'm a fan of the Marines. I was originally, when I volunteered, mm -hmm. a Marine for only uh, 20 days. Oh. Quite a story what happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I moved from Marine, Navy to the Air Force. I did my two years and got out. They tried to get me drunk several times to extend another three to five years because I was the only guy that had a pilot's license at age 16 and a college diploma. And you know who shared that pilot's license at age 16 with me? Lindbergh? The guy, no, the guy who put his foot on the moon. Oh, right, 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 Neil Armstrong. Right. Yeah. But the only difference was he got a driver's license at 20, I'm told. I got one at 19 at sure. Princeton. Right. Uh, but I had an airplane at Princeton. You couldn't have a car, but I had a plane. <laughs> you got right around to 206, it. yeah. I also had a motorcycle. You had to take a taxi, though, to get no, there. I had a motorcycle. <laughs> oh. A small Holly Davidson. Oh, how Not funny. The big one. Right. A little one covered, yeah. looked like a bicycle covered up. Mm -hmm. And I could zoom anyway. In fact, I go to New York City or to Brooklyn Heights on my motorbike, and when I'd come to a toll on a bridge, mm -hmm. I would move my feet up and down the tip of the bicycle. A bicycle. So right. I could save the 10 cents or right. a quarter. Right. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, God, my life moves on. That's funny. Anyway, Neil died, and uh, he stayed on in Texas. Before NASA, NASA wasn't created till the late 50s, mm. and then he got involved. I, you know, I could have, could have been. I had some great friends mm. in Texas, but uh, when I bought this plane, I bought it up in uh, uh, New Hampshire, mm -hmm. at uh, right outside. Um, oh, right, New Hampshire has an 18-mile Atlantic coast between Massachusetts and Maine. It's called uh, near Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. Rye, Rye, New Hampshire. And uh, you know what that plane cost? $730. Cheaper than a car. Yeah, that was big money then, $730. Yeah. And the fuel was peanuts, like 10 cents mm -hmm. a gallon. <laughs> anyway, well, now where are you going? Oh, I'm just staying local here. Oh, I'm okay. staying right at Warwick yeah, Garrison. When were you, I, I when wanted were you... to know about Deming. We'll follow up on that at some point. I have a file on him. Uh, well, at any rate... See, what would McArthur, be interesting... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. a friend. Right. And a wonderful guy. He died in 64 at age 82. Uh, all these key people, well, his pilot, his aide, were all friends of mine. The monument in the Philippines has seven people. You know, where Leite, yeah, I shall return. Right, I shall return. Well, the guy right. who broadcast it was William J. Dunn. He was the only guy without a hat. Ah. He wrote several books, including uh, a book with me. Mm -hmm. Bill Dunn. William J. Dunn. D-U-N-N. -N. And he was the chief CBS correspondent and covered. You heard Edward R. Murrow out of London during the German War. Right. And you heard Dunn Bill Dunn him. out of the Pacific usually relayed, yeah, that's knocking my eyes out, relayed from a, a destroyer to a battleship to San Francisco to New York, because uh, the, they had an underground cable for Mar Morrow that could give you, you know, every night, I think it was 515 News, you got Edward R. Morrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, in that monument, of those seven guys, Carlos Romulo, <laughs> who started the United Nations in San Francisco, R-O-M-U-L-O. -O. Uh, his wife died about 20 years ago, and he married a friend of mine, a journalist, Beth Day, B-E-T-H Day, D-A-Y. She's Mrs. Romulo now, still lives in Manila. Uh, and then uh, General Westmoreland. Oh, really? Westmoreland? I'm not uh, typing. The, no, 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 no. no be, my, here we go. I know General Westmoreland. Right, right. That was West. When he had his trouble, yeah. I met him the night before he gave it all up. Mm -hmm. And I'm told by a couple of people at this cocktail party, John, you convinced him. 
right. to the lawsuit he had against him. Yeah. Uh, right. Timing and CBS. Right. Uh, no, he was general. Uh, my brain. He was a, he was MacArthur's a number two guy in the Pacific. We can look it up on that. Well, anyway, sure, right, right, right. Since my surgery, I have this right here. I'm told where this tree hit me in the head. I lost uh, right. some of my short term. But anyway, uh, Bill Dunn, uh, uh, Osmena, who was the president of the Philippines, O S M E N A. Uh, they're, they're all in the statue, group of statues. The statue. Bill okay. Dunn is the only one, he was a big guy like mm -hmm. this, and they couldn't fit a camouflage uniform on him. He wore, <laughs> he wore the light colored pants. Right. And uh, he had no hat on. He carried his typewriter with him, the way uh, that great reporter in uh, Europe who died in the trench. Ernie, Ernie Pyle. Pyle, right. And that typewriter is the same typewriter I had, 1913. The little portable. Corona. Right. That Einstein borrowed from me when his typewriter, 1921, Corona, much bigger, mm -hmm. got the keys twisted. It right. took five weeks to get it fixed for him. Right. And at my second meeting, I think, yeah, my second meeting with him, David saw the problem. He said, Jack, you have the typewriter. Could you not lend it to right. Einstein? Right. So he had it for a little over a month and he did write letters because sure. that was his problem. He needed that. I had to go right away to get it. No. I made a box for it and guess who has it now? It'll be on television. As soon as it's on, uh, a History Channel came and interviewed me. Wow! Uh, about uh, a month ago. Uh -huh. And my daughter got a call from a friend in uh, in Idaho, what's it called, that great ski resort? Uh, uh, Sun Valley. Sun Valley. Harriman right. helped create right. it, yeah. And he called, uh, his name is Jeffrey Isles, and he said, I can't believe it. You and your dad were just on a commercial. Apparently, you're going to be on television soon. So, so we'll see. It's yeah. the History Channel. History Channel. As soon as I know, I'll try to remember the call. Right, right. We'll have some laughs. I'll try to copy it. Uh, you remember which show that was? It was... Uh, something it's like uh, some pickers. pickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know pickers. American right, pickers. Right, right. American yeah. pickers. We watched that one. You do, yeah. Well, yeah. it's goofy. Okay. They spent so. a whole day. They told me they just wanted to interview me for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. They spent twelve hours. They wore me out. My back began to go. I was well on the front. Yeah, walking right. Up and down. The right. So, uh, at any rate, um, I just want to reiterate: when you find even just five, ten of these. I'm a teacher. I need to give things to parents. I need to guide them. Even if you have five of your young true, true, life, true adventures, life adventures, the TLAs, right, no, it, it's, a model. See, it's a model. See, it's a model for I, parents to copy. I did this with my kid. Not only that, when I lost my boys, mm -hmm. every weekend I had two or three children with Canola, mm -hmm. even when she went off to... Uh, West okay. the school okay. and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, and when they go to sleep, I would stretch out and sure. I give them a TLA. Do you have them a TLA? A little illustration. No. Of, of so when it goes to happen. sleep, it's registering. That's right. Right. We know. You have to use the yeah, go here. for it. Uh.